Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Father, we ask that you would sanctify us today. Sanctify us by your truth. Your Word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to read, first of all, from Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. This is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient paths. Ask where the good way is and walk in it, and you will find rest for your souls. But you said we will not walk in it. Deuteronomy 32, 7 goes right along with that. Remember the days of old. Consider the generations long past. Ask your father and he will tell you, your elders, and they will explain to you. Stand at the crossroads and look for the ancient paths, the old-fashioned ways, the old-fashioned word of God, the old-fashioned preacher who was not afraid to proclaim the Word of God. You know, there isn't anything wrong in this country. There isn't anything wrong in this world that a generation, that a bunch of preachers who aren't afraid to preach about hell couldn't cure. There isn't anything wrong with this country, with this world, that a bunch of preachers who are filled with the Spirit of God and are not in the ministry to advance their career couldn't solve You will never do what is right until you stop doing what is wrong. People will never do what is right until they stop doing what is wrong. And they'll never stop doing what is wrong until they understand wrong. Wrong is sin. Until they understand what wrong is in the eyes of God. They will never stop wrong until they realize that their wrong is sinful in the eyes of God. They will never stop doing wrong until they understand that what they are doing is filthy, vile, disgusting sin to God, and that He will certainly punish them, and that He will certainly send them to hell after they die if they don't repent of their wrong and receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. This is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient paths. Ask where the good way is and walk in it, and you will find rest for your souls. But you said we will not walk in it. There are too many professing Christians today who say we will not walk in it. We don't want to hear those old-fashioned things We don't want to hear old-fashioned words like sin. And there are way too many modern evangelical preachers who are willing to give them exactly what they want rather than what God wants them to hear. And they're living in non-reality. Because I don't care what you call it, sin is sin. The godless, self-centered, psycho-babbling, modern evangelical preachers can call it behavior disorders. It's sin. You can call it dysfunction, it's still sin. You can call it a disease, you can call it a sickness, it is sin. If it violates the Word of God, if it breaks His commandment, if it goes against the principles and the commands and the teachings of Scripture, it is sin. It is still sin, no matter what you call it. It is still evil, no matter what you believe. And it'll still send you to hell if you don't repent and receive Jesus Christ into your life as your Lord and Savior. And that's why God says, remember the days of old. Consider the generations long past. Ask your father and he will tell you, your elders, and they will explain to you. Why does God say that? Because he wants you to be saved and he doesn't want you to go to hell. And I'm the best friend you've got for telling you this. For more of God's Word, go to the Bible, verse by verse.com. This is Michael Moret. So long, everyone.